Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Far Above Rubies today. I'm so very glad that each of you are here. Today, we're continuing our walk through lesson three of our Bible study called Uncovered. If you have missed lessons up to this point, please go back and catch up because there's some information there you're going to want to have. As we walk through lesson three, we're talking about the topic creation and the garden. Today's specific topic is sin brings death. It's a heavy topic, but tomorrow we're going to talk about the thread of hope that we have that runs all the way from the beginning of the Bible to the very end, all right? We read earlier that God said, for in the day that you eat of it, meaning the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you will surely die. So what happened to Adam and Eve after the eight of the fruit? Did they die immediately? Not exactly. Adam and Eve did not immediately physically die, but they did die spiritually, okay? God banished them from the Garden of Eden and from his presence. No longer would they be in constant relationship with God. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 24 gives us a picture of this. It says, so he drove man out of the garden and he placed a cherubim or angels at the east of the Garden of Eden and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life. God is the source of all life, all right, whether physical or spiritual. And when we sin, it separates us from that source of life. Sin separates us from God, which leaves us spiritually dead. Not only did they immediately die spiritually, but they also set in motion the process of physical death death, all right? So mankind unplugged from God, essentially, all right? Imagine imagine that phone that you have that no longer keeps a charge and it only works when it's plugged into the electrical socket. That's what man is like. That's what we are like. Whenever we are plugged into that source of life, we have life. And when we choose to unplug, when we choose to disconnect from the source of life, we cannot function on our own. We cannot have have eternal life. We will have a slow and yucky life on this planet heading in the wrong direction. So let's talk about them bringing on physical death through their actions. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23 says, for the wages of sin is death. De sin demands a price. Sin absolutely 100,000% always without question demands a price to be paid. All right. Hebrews chapter 9 and 27 tells us that it is appointed for men once to die. We have an appointment with death at some point, okay? We don't know that day or that hour, but we know at some point we will take our last breath. We will close our eyes and never open them again. We will meet our maker. Sin causes three consequences, okay? It gave man's earthly dominion and authority over to Satan. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 3 and 4 says, But even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing, that would be us if we don't have God, okay? Whose mind the God or ruler of this age or ruler of this world has blinded. That's talking about if we don't have God, if we're not plugged into that source, then the enemy of our soul who rules over earth earthly things has blinded our minds, okay? It's he has put up barricades between us and God and we'll talk about how to break those down, okay? Number 2, the number 2 consequence that sin causes is it brought an eventual physical death upon the earth and its inhabitants. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 22 says for as in Adam all will die. Okay. That's, that's what happened in that moment. Whenever they disobeyed God, they brought sin and death into the world. And that has been passed down from generation to generation across all of time. Consequence number three, it separated humanity from the presence of God. There immediately became this great chasm, this huge canyon that cannot be crossed on our own abilities between us and God. All right. And that's why we needed Jesus Christ to bridge that gap for us. Isaiah chapter 59 and two verse two says, but your iniquities or your sins 
have separated you from your God and your sins have hidden his face from you. So today we're talking about the awful consequence that is sin separating us from God. When we have sin in our lives, which we are born with, the psalmist David said, that we were born in sin, shapen in iniquity or wrongdoing. That means we were born unplugged from God. What we do when we find God, when we find relationship with God, when we turn away from a life of sin to a life filled with the things of God and the heart of God, when we are baptized in the name of Jesus and filled with his Holy Spirit, that is us finding that electrical socket of God and plugging our life back in. We're going to talk tomorrow uh, at the end of lesson three about that thread of hope in Christ Jesus. Okay. If no one's told you lately, you are loved and you are cherished and you are valuable. You have beautiful and tremendous worth, my sweet friend. And that worth is far above rubies. Don't miss tomorrow's lesson. I'll see you then. God bless you.